Well, 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 what do we have here? Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Boost Junkie Media. I am Tyler, and today we are going to be talking a little bit about a future project that is going on with the channel. Um, you saw a little teaser, a little thumb, thumbnail there just a second ago, but basically, yes, we do have some new wheels, and here we are. These are Forge Star D5 drag wheels. The rears are single B lock. The fronts, of course, are not. The rears on these are 17 by 10. The fronts are 17 by 6. And on the rears, we are going to be running this tire right here. This is a Mickey uh, ET Street SS. I've had very good luck with these in the past. Uh, they're a good street tire and also uh, do pretty poor, pretty well at the track. Eventually, we may have to step up to the ET Street R or something like that. But for now, for street duty, I think these will work fine. So that's what we've got going on. Uh, here coming up, we're going to be mounting uh, this tire here onto these here. I have never mounted a set of bead locks. It doesn't look that hard. But basically, this is your bead lock ring right here so this is held on by a series of bolts and your tire is going to sit basically right along here along this bead and once the tire is on there this sits down on there like that it locks onto that edge of that bead of that tire and then you put bolts all around here and that is what holds the tire the bead lock will keep the tire the rubber tire from spinning on the on the rim under hard acceleration, under launching conditions, things like that. So as I said, this is my first set. Uh, and there are double B-lock, which is a B-lock ring on each side, inside and outside. This is just a single on the outside. So the inside is just a normal, normal looking um, rim. So stay tuned to the channel. This is what we have coming up. And before too long, we're going to see these guys mounted onto the car. Stay tuned. Good evening, everybody. Tyler here with Boost Chunky Media, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, right now, we have got some things going on with the car. As you can see, we are mounting up our wheels. These are Forge Star D5 on the front, 17 by 6. Nice skinny front. And on the rears, these are 17 by 10. Forge Star D5 beadlock, single beadlock of course, and mounted on the wheel on the rim is an ET Street SS in a 305 45 17. This is just this phase of the car build. Uh, for right now, we are basically looking to try to go lightweight on a few things. Uh, the wheels, uh, we are also going to be doing lightweight brakes. Uh, rotors and calipers Try to really get down on that rotating mass. We're also going to be doing a rear seat delete and Things like that and then we're going to take it to the we're going to weigh it first of all see what it weighs uh, With all of these things done See how much we've lost and then we're going to take it to the track and see what uh, What it can do at the track uh, on top of the wheels. We've also done some suspension work and in fact, let me walk around to the back here and I know it's a little dark I'm sorry on this section in fact I can fix that so in here we have got our BMR springs these are the drag springs and we did have our BMR um, end links that we've put in we already had them so we figured why not and also ordered coming up soon will be uh, some new shocks. We have ordered um, some shocks from Kelly over at Keltrack. So once those get here in just a few weeks, we will throw those in. We've also ordered the front struts, um, but I guess they're in pre-order right now, so they won't actually be released until Q4 of this year. So once they come in, we will also swap those in. So for right now, we're running the stock struts in the front with the minimum drop drag springs. And in the rear, we're running the stock shocks right now. 
with the drag springs as well. So we're going to, uh, yeah, see what it does in this trim with the weight reduction that we've done and see what it will do at the track here in the next upcoming few weeks. So stay tuned to the channel.